we're here, Kentucky Lake. This is uh, the sixth stop of the FLW tour here at Kentucky Lake. I like fishing here. Man, this place is huge. 160,000 acres that you have to dissect in three days. So I had three days to just dissect this lake and figure out where I wanted to fish. In this video, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about what went down and how exactly I caught my fish. Oh, look, we're gonna catch them today, dude. I don't know. It could be. Hey, everybody's got a chance, right? That's right. The way everybody's I see it got is a chance. I've fished this lake a long time, and I've never fished in four days without catching a big one. So <laughs> right. maybe today is the day. Maybe today is the day. All right, folks. Day one here at Kentucky Lake. We're about to take off my buddy Michael Brewer, but it's nice, bright, and sunny. So uh, go sling around the square bill and see what happens. It's gotten really hot. It's been pretty much 90 degrees every day in practice um, so those fish on especially on the Tennessee River they move really fast or I only have probably a handful of waypoints that I feel like fish go to after they spawn here when I say a handful we're talking less than 10 waypoints I think I'm gonna take my chances shallow this week I think there's enough fish probably still coming keep in mind it just snowed here a month ago I think there's enough fish still coming there's enough fish still lingering around the banks to at least be competitive fishing shallow. So. What's the problem if like shad's falling in on some of these? Yeah. Some of these. Not this thing. Just leave them alone. Just get them around. Yeah, that's big. Big. Thank you, buddy. Well, he locked it. <laughs> Oh yeah, I think the last minute of practice, maybe a telling deal that I think shad spawning here, you just can't, maybe, maybe like the end of it and you can't yeah. really see it or something. It's not really me just being way out left field, it just really does seem like the fishing is tough here. Um, so I had to decide whether to fish a couple of little areas that I found the last five or 10 minutes in practice here in Kentucky Lake that were pretty close, or should I make the 30 or 40 mile run to where I was fishing in Lake Barkley, Barkley Lake. I had to make a big decision because I didn't really feel like I wanted to, to fish both areas because the fishing is so tough. The fish seems to be so spread out that I don't think it's a good idea for me to spend a half a day or three or four hours in Kentucky Lake and then run to Barkley. I didn't think that was a good idea. I really wanted to fish wherever I fished. I wanted to spend my time there. So I had to make a decision of where, I, whether I wanted to go to Barkley or if I wanted to stay here in Kentucky Lake. We know we got three bites today, boy. We're the we done went down this bank and got us some bites, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, look how skinny those fish Yeah, he's post spawn. He's just fresh post spawn fish, man. Hey, we, I'm going to tell you right now. We're going to be cranking today. Number two. So I stayed here at Kentucky Lake throwing a square bill crankbait. Um, basically all I was doing was going around in these big, they call them hollows here on the Tennessee River. It's not really a creek, it's not really a bay, they're really long hollows. It, you know, a hollow may be three quarters of a mile, a mile long, a mile and a half long, just big, a humongous cove along the riverside. And what I was going in there is finding these little secondary points. And I think a lot of these fish had just spawned they're starting to progress out to the main lake, but on the way out, they're, stop, they're stopping and they're feeding on brim on these little secondary points and rocky, uh, little rocky shoreline. <laughs> oh my God. God. Oh, I don't know if he's gonna make the show. Oh yeah. Oh, man. He had one back there. He had one. Right. Off a bush. 
You know, one thing about throwing a square bill crankbait on these little um, secondary places, you never knew where you were going to hang it, hook up into. I caught a lot of short fish, a lot of 12, 13 inch fish, but every once in a while I would go through three or four short fish and then eventually I would always catch a two and a half, three pound fish. And I was lucky enough to get one or two of those fish in my bag on day one. Barclay's the only place they gotta be 18. No, no keeper. That's like hurt. It's alright. I don't really want to leave one like that either. Thank you, buddy. Whoa. Sorry, dude. Yeah. Dude, I thought he was coming off. He was coming <laughs> so fast to me. That's the kind. Heck yeah. Uh-huh. Dude, he barely got it, too. I don't think I could have stood too many more jumps. <laughs> <laughs> Five. The Kentucky Lake, he's off in the... Well, let me make that fat little short sucker. Oh my God. Look how fat and short that little... Look how fat and short that fish is. He might not... Good he's grief. 15, but good grief. That's an almost three pound fish. Oh my God. Dude, he's like 15 and a half. <laughs> he's so short and fat. That's <laughs> at Kentucky Lake. Before 12 o'clock. Before 12 o'clock, five. Mm. Golly. I'm starting to get scared. I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna sit here and try to pretend like. Oh. This is dead guy. Okay. Oh, I see him. Did I see him? Yeah. That's a dead gum giant. It's a drum. God damn. You mean netting so you don't have to. Dude, you was right. It's a giant, though. Oh, you're right. Look at that thing. God, my. Lord have mercy, I was scared to death. I was like, man, please net this fish. <sighs> That's what had been all right. Oh, my God. I knew he was a monster. Across the river ah, for five miles, it sounds like they're wide open. There's a side, yes, 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 just come off in a net. Day one, I end the day. Uh, it was, you know, it went pretty good. It w actually went a lot smoother than I expected. At nine o'clock, I already had four keepers in the boat, and I just called up twice during the day. That was it. I think I had six or seven keeper bites on day one, which is, uh, man, that's not a lot of bites. So you can imagine my anxiety once again, looking for what's going to happen on day two. Managed those six or seven keeper bites on day one. Um, Ended up weighing 12 pounds, seven ounces, 
happy with it. Put me in 62nd place right outside the check cut and I'm feeling pretty good about day two. I still haven't touched any of the water that I found in Barkley. So day one is over with. Pretty good day I assume for my boat considering the way practice was this week. I think it was a, about as good as I could expect. The most bites I got in any day in practice was six pounds, uh, six fish. I had caught six fish Monday, six fish Tuesday, and I caught four or five on uh, the last day of practice. And I got six keeper bites today, six. So we made it through day one, but we got to get through day two somehow. Good morning, folks. Day number two. Getting ready to launch here at uh, Kentucky Dam and uh, get the day started. Man, we got a little bit of rainfall. It's kind of cloudy today. I'm a little bit excited about that. I think that actually could help me out a little bit. I think it really could help me catch them a little bit better. Just having a little cloud cover because I'm just cranking. And um, what's up, Aaron Britt? My man Aaron over here getting ready to get them launched. Yeah, buddy. Man, you had a good day yesterday, right? See you. One more. Hey. One more. You could have been anywhere from 22 to high teens easily. Nice yeah. Nice yeah, that's awesome, man. Good luck, brother. Same to you. So, uh, so yeah. Carry some good energy in the day. We'll do some push-ups and jumping jacks right quick. That was my video push-up. I can't hold them. I don't know what that was. Sorry. That was me trying to give some energy. Anyway, it could happen today, y'all. And like it really could happen today. And I'd like to have one of those days where it happens today. I really would. Here's the thing, I got a long day today. Yesterday I had somewhat of a short day. In at three o'clock today, 4.30, extra hour and a half. Um, so I gotta decide if I'm going to Going to Barkley to some fish I found flipping bushes. The water's come up quite a bit since practice. Water and them got out on bushes. So uh, I may go to Barkley. One one o'clock, one thirty. If I got a limit, I'm going to Barkley. I think I can catch better better ones, bigger ones in the bushes. So we're gonna get this boat launched here, get started, and hopefully have a good day go day two this is the moving day this is always the day of truth this is the day where you can go backwards a lot this is the day where you can move up a lot there's a since this tournament is so tough you know the weights are really down I'm in 62nd with 12 pounds usually 12 pounds at Kentucky Lake will get you kicked out of the FLW tour it's always gonna put you in a triple digit finish but the fishing's so tough right now that if you can catch a limit you're doing pretty good. And if you can catch a lemon and get one or two really nice fish, you're doing really well in this tournament. So, you mind if I start right down through this bank? Yeah, go ahead. They, they fish them. Thank you, sir. Huh. Thank you for letting me go down through here. I ran my points with the square bill, tried a little bit bigger square bill. I ain't feeling it. Not feeling it on day two. At 11 o'clock, I only had one keeper bite. Caught a couple shorts, 
co-angler caught one nice fish he caught a couple shorts but at 11 o'clock on day one i had four keepers and had already went through you know eight or ten smaller non-keeper bites you could just tell there were some fish there i was around fish i don't know whether the weather made them keep moving out towards the main lake i'm not sure if the fish just moved the stair step down i was catching those fish pretty shallow on these little gravel points could have been a shad spawn too but i'm thinking they were really feeding them brim that ain't working at 11 o'clock i'm really starting to get a little itchy i'm starting to get a little itchy and i'm thinking about barkley should i stay should i wait so i loaded up everything batted all the hatches down and i make a 50 mile run to barkley when you're casting, I got time to reach back there and grab you. We're good. That's a good sign, though. That's a good sign. He's not going to be nowhere near 15 inches, right? 14. 14. I don't even know if it's 14. 13, I think. 13. As I get to Barkley flipping bushes, that really let me settle down, fish slowly, and kind of get into my area and get intimate with my water. I thought he was going to be there, didn't I, Mr. Yes, sir, you did. I didn't I tell you? Yes, I think you he's did. barely going to make it. He will make it, though. I think he's barely going to make it. It's going to be a good day. Get moving. Four feet. He's blue. Hey, we're going to be a little bit but listen. He just, he, he won't. He's gonna be good. Flipping that bush and boil. I think so, huh? Oh, yeah. He's a sneaky thing. Yeah, he's, he's 15, but that is all he's gonna give me. Look at him. Boy. Never had this. Uh, you know what that is? I think it's 15. Golly, they all just, just 15. I caught my limit fish in Barkley on the first stop that I made. I caught all, I had five keepers. Right now I'm only sitting on like eight pounds, and I think I need at least 12 pounds to at least maintain and I need probably 12 and a half 13 to move up in the standings. Yeah. Good for you, buddy. Good for me, Mr. Hart. You're right, good for me. <laughs> you dog all right. That's one less. That's all I got. A couple other non-keepers, and that was it. I mean that that was it. Go! 
Um, 171. Okay. Oh, 171. Your pro leaders, Randy Haynes with 46 pounds, 2 ounces. Brian Latimer, yes, B-Lat, good to see you, man. Good Already to see made you. a cut this year, Belt, South Carolina. A lot of social media stuff. You can see him on FWFishing.com several times this week. At 12-7 on day one, five more today for B-Lat worth 9-5. That's got you in the middle of the pack, man. Hey, man, you know, I got to take it. I, at 11 o'clock, I was doing what I did yesterday. One bite. <laughs> so uh, I was telling somebody in the bag line a while ago, I burned about 10 gallons of gas yesterday. Today I burned 45 trying to <laughs> round up 9 pounds of bass. But, man, I, I tell you, the lake is fishing tough. But, God, uh, here at FLW, we just got the best fishermen in the world. Absolutely. Literally the best fishermen in the world. Practice, I was getting five, six bites a day. Yes, sir. And um, you see guys weighing 20 pounds, 25, 26. They're just good fishermen. So, man, I'm... I'm no, pleased to be in the mix. It, so. You got it. You got it, man. You do a great job, man. And hey, already a top 30 this year. More to come, I know. Yeah, I'm ready to get back in it. St. Clair's our last one, so I'm definitely ready to get up there. Uh, my wife and my little boy, they'll be out of school, so they'll be with me. So I'll be, uh, cool. be like being at home there. I know they're watching on uh, on the internet right now. So hey, Brev. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Mom. That's hey, cool. all of y'all. That's what it's all about. That's cool, man. Good job, b you, man. as always, man. Appreciate it. Brian Latimer getting it done. Marie Surnett. Thank you, buddy. Y'all have a good day. Thank you, my man. Yes, sir. Man, I had a, I'm ready to go see mama. Yeah, I hear you, <laughs> Yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna go get me a hamburger as soon as I can get uh as soon as I can go get my wallet though. <laughs> Starving. Nice to meet you, fellas. Unless you were here at Kentucky Lake, it's hard for me to put into words how tough the fishing was. And I have one fish at 11 o'clock and just to forget about it and dump it forget practice forget day one of the tournament when things went well and dumping it run up the river i'm proud of that decision because i've set on places in tournaments and pat on in the past and just died on one place thinking about what could happen or what happened a few days ago so i'm really proud of that um so that's just the way it played out you know sometimes that's what that's just what happened Sometimes you make that decision and you make the cut like what happened at Cumberland. Other times you make that decision and you just maintain sort of like what happened here at Kentucky Lake. And other times you make a decision and you just plain out flop. And you never know until it's time to do a video vlog about it. So overall, I still love this lake. It's fun. Um, all I can do is grab some confidence and look forward to coming to Kentucky Lake again because I'm sure FLW Tour will show up here again. I'm ready to go home and get some time with my family and get ready for St. Clair. <laughs>